Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Richland County deputies are investigating the Fairfield County Council chair for removing a campaign sign in Blythewood. A WIS viewer sent us this video showing Chairman Douglas Pauley removing a sign along Main Street in Blythewood on October 27th. He has not been arrested. Chief investigative reporter Chris Joseph followed up today in Blythewood. Blythewood Town Councilman Donald Brock Jr. put the sign essentially right here, down to your right if you're watching at home. Now, this is a property that is largely used by the Voice of Blythewood, the local newspaper, and Douglas Pauley. Now, the publisher for The Voice said that she gave Brock permission to put the sign here. Pauley, it appears, did not want that sign on this location. Fairfield County Council Chairman Douglas Pauley saw a political sign, grabbed it, and then shut the lid on its future. Richland County deputies are now investigating him for it. Removing a legally placed campaign sign without the candidate's permission is illegal. It's a misdemeanor that carries up to a $100 fine and or up to 30 days in prison. Blythewood Town Councilman Donald Brock Jr. is pressing charges. I mean, he knows better. I mean, he does. Um, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. It's more disappointing than anything just because, you know, again, we pride ourselves in being better in Blythewood. We want to encourage people to, uh, to do the right thing in Blythewood. The sign was on a property shared by the Voice of Blythewood newspaper and Polly. Voice publisher Barbara Ball says she gave Brock permission to place the sign. Do you think you, it was incumbent upon yourself to reach out to him? No, I don't think so. Why not? No more, no more so than any other business. Because I also had permission from the from the from the lease or, or the rather the leasee, I guess. Brock claims other signs have gone missing, which is why surveillance was set up. As we suspected it was children or somebody doing something ridiculous. We didn't expect it to be, you know, a grown individual. WIS has no information that Polly took any other signs, and he declined our interview requests. The Richland County Sheriff's Department spokesperson confirmed there has not been an arrest. Again, it's important to stress Polly has not been arrested. I reached out to the governor's office about what intervention the governor might offer if he is arrested and ultimately convicted. The governor's office says the governor cannot act in this situation because there has not been a grand jury indictment. Reporting in Blythewood, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10.